the six <laughs> like to call the meeting to frontier regular meeting at 609 sorry judy we'll play catch up later you want to stop this I'd like to approve the minutes from oh, that's expensive. I'd like to approve the minutes from January 8th. January 22nd. January 8th. January 8th. January 8th. Sorry. 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 Uh, nobody was absent. Do I have a motion yet? So moved. Second. All in favor? January 22nd, move. Second. All in favor? Everybody was here. Okay, budget. Uh -huh. oh, right. oh, excuse me. Warrants. Warrants. Financials? They have a lot of questions. Oh, Bob has a lot of questions. Okay. Yeah, see you. Mark, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you? Good. <laughs> So you have the uh, warrant signature page in front of you. There are 25 items on the warrant, which I emailed to the school committee. The warrant total is $1,577,770.99. Thank you. Also, I passed out the expenditure report for operations through January. Um, there's nothing unusual to report from one month to the other. Um, I will say though that in going through the budgeting process for FY20 for um, Frontier, I, we felt the need, Judy and I, that we need to take a, take a look and just kind of revisit salaries as they stand in this budget because obviously everything is encumbered, but we want to do a review and, and just make sure everything is where it should be. I mean, as we know, there are a couple items that are under budget and over budget, um, and we're going to take a look at that compared to uh, funding of salaries in the special revenue funds as well. Bob, have you asked your questions already to no, the right people, or do you want to? Well, I, the, the, the expenditure report we got, I had printed for me this afternoon. It's, it's different than that one. And this one, so. Okay. Uh, the, the bottom line on the, the one I got this afternoon, the email, the net was 416000 but we have, I haven't looked at what we just passed out, but in the one that I looked at this afternoon, the monies for the uh, medical insurance for our staff. And what page is that on, if you're talking? It's 600 and some odd thousand, and it's left in it, and it's not, uh, encumbered? Just, it's not encumbered, there's nothing encumbered. So my theory is most of that's gonna get spent. And uh, it's six hundred forty-nine thousand one hundred nine. Okay, it's, 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 it's page ten, and it's five items down from the top. It's page. It's on page ten of what we are handed tonight. All right. Well, and it is those numbers that you just read six six hundred forty-nine one hundred nine fifty-eight. Yeah, and the one I looked at this afternoon said four hundred forty-two thousand, which meant that we were in the hole by about two hundred thirty-three thousand. Is I think Mark said he wants to do a deep dive, and I think it's long overdue that we do a great big deep dive in the current budget to make sure we're on task and that we have sufficient monies. And we might want to think about a budget freeze of some sort uh, just to be on the safe side. I'm not comfortable with the numbers. How about anybody else? Well, when you get home tonight, take a look at what was just handed out and what we got. Because we're at a million four at the bottom line. I line. see that there. Yeah. I'll look at it again. But still, without all the other information, because this report here has stuff about uh, school shows, revolving funds, and everything else, which complicates the math. Right? But we still need to know where we are. Okay? Yeah. Does anybody else have any questions about the budget? I brought the insurance thing up three yep. times, I think, already. All right. It hasn't been taken care of. 
we'll definitely include that in the review and get an encumbrance based on what the what we estimate the true expense will be. You make a good point. Because the insurance is less, I'm looking at wrong insurances other than most of them either been encumbered on this page 10 of some kind and some, you know, there's some left of the insurances and stuff. Health, life, start off with a million four thirty and we have a Left over six hundred forty-nine thousand on page ten there. But the if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, but the stuff is, you've only got the bills from January in here. Okay, but you still got six hundred forty-nine thousand dollars left from January. Yeah, that should be seven twelfths of. I mean, this is like one thirty-one. So there's still six hundred forty-nine thousand on the line item. We start off with one point four. You're going to have February, March, April, May. Five, five twelve. Okay. It should be covered anyway. Right. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, on page seven, the salaries for the food service director, and then it says underneath that function food service and then the thirty four hundred. So the, the numbers are double. So they just doubled up, and I don't understand that because aren't all those page numbers what? page, page seven. seven? Okay, got gotcha. you. So I don't understand, aren't all those numbers carried down? So so we're paying the food director, right? 15,476. So then, yep, so why does it say food service in the same number? That's what the total is for, for that, that, that line item. It's the 3,400 line items is food service. Yeah, the okay, only so the item only, we have in there is the director. The only number that's brought forward is one of those. Right. Yep. Okay. Because that's not what it looks like. Well, that's because of, the you're looking at a category that has only one item. Like if you look at transportation, 3,300, there's several items that make up that total, but for food service, there's only one item in that 3,400 DESE function code. So the item is the total. And we haven't paid her a nickel this year? Have we According to this, we haven't paid her a nickel. Oh, it says 100% encumbered. No, it isn't. It's not no, encumbered. it says 100%, zero. 0% zero. Zero encumbered. Year to date, why can't you pay her zero? It says the balance is the same as the, the beginning. But so. if you go through this other report, you're going to find that some monies have been paid in some of these other accounts. I mean, it could be the <coughs> revolving account. I'm not sure, but you, it takes a deep dive to figure it all out. Right, because generally food service, and I mean, sometimes we'll have to take a look at what was done last year and look in the budget to see what the plan was because a lot of times food service is supposed to be self-funding and the food service director is paid out of the food service revolving account. But there's times where a budget item gets put in here in either A, because there's a plan to pay some of it out of food service, but I would expect that that would have been encumbered at the beginning of the year, or B, it's a placeholder in case you have to do an adjustment because food service is running at a deficit and the local budget is gonna support it. And food service director is one of the ways to help offset one of those deficits by offloading some of the salary into the local budget. But I'd have to take a look and see what was so done. So according to the report, that I got this afternoon, 8,928.60 has been expended, okay? Mm -hmm. and Which would make sense, it'd be a little over half of her salary because we're a little over half the year. It's gone. Yeah, and it makes sense. they encumbered 65, 47, 64. The remainder of it. And it's saying that the budget is, is in a negative 15,476. Which brings up another question. Why does that happen? Where does that go back to um, that our food service is not in our budget and our food service people are not in our budget? And people say it's because it's supposed to be self-supporting, but I haven't seen one that has been self-supporting. So we're always taking that vote to put that. So what, what historical event happened in 1620 that <laughs> food service, <laughs> boom, was on its own? I don't get it. Why is that not in our budget? Why do we not talk about that? Why do we not have all their salaries in our budget? Why don't we see that kind of stuff? The, the same reason that um, that their benefits are not included in their uh, in the budget uh, with their salary, because uh, I think the way that it was put together was put together in an attempt to show 
uh, that it was self-sufficient and that if we just pay X, Y, and Z for a consultant, this and that, then it'll all be hunky door. Well, that was back a couple years ago, yeah. but it's never been in. There were years that we didn't even know the food service existed. Am I right? You didn't hear anything. We didn't hear anything. And then when we asked, we were we asked every year, approximately at the same time of year, we have to take a vote to balance it, to put that money in to balance it. And that was it. It was like it was this big, huge secret. What those people get paid, what they do. And I just don't understand why it's not just in our budget. We take care of it. And we, they still have to file all the same reports, I would think. But if you want, this to me does not look transparent at all. I don't understand food service. I don't even have an opportunity to understand food service unless I make an extra effort. And I shouldn't have to do that. If they're part of our family, they have been. Let's, let's get it out in the open. I think the food service, correct me if I'm wrong, but the food service is by itself here. Don't forget, she's getting paid for all five schools. So are other people in this budget, though. Not the food service people at Frontier. They're Frontier paid. are paid oh, by Frontier. Frontier. Right. But, but they're, they're probably here somewhere. No, they're not. You don't see anybody. Well, so how are we paying them? I don't know, Bob. That's not <laughs> the point. Well, they're non-union. So they're non-union people, like the custodians, probably. But where are they getting paid? What are they getting like paid? Do they get cash? This they is like get this, coins? This is like an extra stipend for the director. She's in She's in the regular salaries for food service as well, but this is the extra directorship uh, stipend. Right. And then each, each of our elementary school budgets has a separate amount. Right. Um, I, I know Conway Grounders is like about five grand to contribute towards that, uh, or in addition to that. Right now, according to this. Which one are you looking at, Bob? This afternoon's or right oh, now? The one I got this afternoon because I got it marked. Okay? It said there's $48,108.52 has been in the negative. For um, what? That is for the food service, uh, under food service, it's salaries cafeteria. Okay. Okay? And they have encumbered $47,000. 320.78, bringing the balance as a negative 95,501.30. Well, what, what, what number are you on, Bob? Not paid, but what? 25. 0.25.34, 10.03.00.0.34. So yeah. it's so yeah. it's not it's all right. So it's not in this budget that I gave you because this is the general fund budget. The one I emailed to everyone included all the funds, including the special revenue fund for food yeah, service. So food service generally is expended out of its own fund, and it generally doesn't have a budget. So you'll see things run in the negative because there's no revenue there. This is an expenditure report. Revenues are tracked differently. They'll they'll never show up here. So, I mean, I, I will provide those every month if you want to go through the special revenue funds, or I can give you like a summary of it. But, I mean, to answer your question, the reason why you never see the, see the expenditures on there is because, again, with the expectation that it's self-supporting, the expenditures are run out of, out of that fund, assuming that the revenues will support it and, and pay for that fund. So on the revenue side within Infinite Visions, all the money that's taken in from the student student meal plans and the reimbursements from the federal federal government and the state are posted as revenues and the expenditures are posted in that fund 25 and and if if fund 25 can't support itself that's when we have to look to offload some of the expenses to the local budgets of the schools does the does the benefits get paid out of that program too no. that yeah well, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking i haven't done dove into that they can go either way I suspect they probably aren't but okay. and also uh, it depends on how many hours people work because a lot of food service workers don't have benefits because they don't work the requisite 20 hours I believe I was given this figure before Patty left last spring about could be wrong $78,000 in benefits health insurance benefits for all the cafeteria, cafeteria people I just think it should be out there What's that? I think we should, it should be easily accessed. I it agree should with be you. maybe a monthly we should report have so that we don't let it or we see it happen. But I think that was the number, but I don't have a written number. Yeah. And, and maybe a summary is all we need. Maybe, I don't know. I just think it's really done. weird for all these How many special revenue accounts do we have? Uh, you, 
probably have like, I think maybe seven, well, including that seven, because you've got, you've got circuit breaker, you've got school, school choice, um, you've got the sped tuitions. Let me take a look and see what the other ones are, because I was just looking at them today. Athletic revolving. Athletic revolving. You didn't have any other questions on volume. Uh, sorry. That's right. Yeah, those are you know, those are grants. Okay. Yeah, so those, those, those are the major ones. I don't think no. there's yeah. Yeah. any others other than that. Right. Maybe we'll have a sharper pencil by February. Yeah. Is that okay? Great. I mean, I hope I, that we haven't gone over this already and I'm repeating it, but I just can't remember from the last meeting. So on page two, I'm looking at the clerical salaries, $13,000 in the negative. And then on page, no, on page nine, looking at just general building repair, sixteen thousand dollars a day. I'm just wondering. So page two, um, that was one where it was originally. And this is the dive we'll do into the salaries because if you go back to the September report that I gave you, that the encumbered funds in that had six thousand six hundred dollars remaining in it. So that was one of the adjustments we made because that salary at the time was fully encumbered. So something happened, there was probably a payment out of there, maybe for like summer services that happened later, something that got, got classed to there that ended up putting it over budget. So we need to do another adjustment for that. But that was in budget and then we did an adjustment and then there was additional charge to it, but and I'll find out what that charge is. Um, and in terms of building, yes, that's one that's running over because as you know, we have an issue with maintenance in the building, but because you know the school and the and the school committee's goal is to work on you know an overall maintenance plan, rather than looking to try to fill that gap from other accounts to say how much is it truly going over based on the way it's budgeted. So the decision was made to at this point let that that expend and run over, so we can see how much we're expending over the budgeted amount. So be, that would be an indicator of the need to count. Right. Exactly. In, in that in that lineup was the expense to fix the AC in the library during the heat spell. And so That's I own that, I, I made that mention before, that I'm hoping, because the first thing we do with the ND once it gets certified is to do 13, I think it's around $15,000 um, that we went over, that we, you know, we want to take from the air conditioning units that we're putting here, or else this area would not be usable. So I mean, that was an executive decision where I said, we'll find the money, I know we'll have something in the ND. I'm proposing the ND, but this will come back to the, the committee at that point. <clears throat> Anybody else have? Do you have do those are two you have keys? Anybody else have anything? Oh, it's that nice. Okay. Um, public comment. Student advisory. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the new budget. Why don't we? Yeah, why don't we? Bill. We were sort of oh, kind of hoping to have first draft for everybody tonight. What? For a variety of reasons. Uh, we've had some major snafus with Choice and Charter, some major snafus with the bus, the bus contract that came in, and a couple of other things have not gone according to plan. So at this point, the numbers are, they're all out of kilter. And to release those kind of numbers at this point is, is not a good idea because there's no such thing as unwritten the bell. So until we work, some of these numbers need to be fit corrected. So until we correct them, I don't want to give you guys a document or a number or something because they tend to become written in stone once they're out there. And it's very hard, to, very hard to change them afterwards. So we want to make sure we've got a half a dozen things we need to check one by one very carefully to make sure that they fit where they are. And then we'll have, hopefully. So could we target two weeks from tonight? Or you may. Two weeks from Tuesday night? I wouldn't be at all surprised if you end up having to have I don't know how we're going to do this because we're running we're running up against a reasonable agreement. So the way it looks now, two weeks from tonight is the public hearing on the budget. That would be the first time you guys will be seeing it. Though. I'm not keep not you because you wouldn't with this, but you guys will be seeing it for the first time. And that thank you. <coughs> Here we're having a public hearing. We're going to vote on this later. Can you look at it? You know, while you're trying to attend the meeting and watch what's going on. Not a good idea. So if we if we may have to have another a special meeting somewhere in between. Now on the 24th. School vacation week is next week. Yes, we if anybody will, wants to come for a meeting, I don't care. That's about it. Uh, that's like a full course meal. It's not a fair thing to do to you guys that aren't on the budget subcommittee to say, here it is. We're, 
or when we're dealing with it tonight. Oh. I'd be, if I was one of you, I'd be screaming. I can't do this. I can't, you can't expect me to make an intelligent decision about something that you gave me. $11 million worth of something that you gave me five minutes ago. So that's uh, that's kind of where we're at. So we're going to keep the numbers and the stuff we've developed up to this point. We're going to keep it under wraps until we make sure we didn't make any mistakes. Wait, okay. did we come up I think we're supposed Is it to be So we moved up the, <clears throat> usually we meet the second week of right. March. We purposely moved it up so that we would follow the agreement. Yeah. I believe it's what? March 5th. So March 5th is our, is our meeting date, right? But I believe there's a couple more days after. I mean, I'll go back and do something the math. Something like again. the 11th or something we have to have. We, did, we put a cushion in so that yep. so you get snow day or you know those kind of right. things going on at the same time. Because um, we so. were going to originally meet after the, the agreement number, the agreement date, whatever that is. Um, and so that's why we moved it in the just in case. So we're in the just in case. So while we're on that subject, what date do we want to meet of that the week after? I imagine the week after. The 28th, that Thursday. Conway's meeting at 6. We could meet in Conway. We've done that before. Seven. A number of years ago, we went up there. We've done, we would have show on the road for a few years. I mean, I don't have a, you know, we kind of got a time problem. That's it. So. You know, if we were to meet, uh, the rest of us, if we were to meet, I don't know if it's doable for anybody else. It's for me, I'm sort of half retired, so it doesn't matter. But if I had, if I was meeting in Conway at 515, in Conway, so those who are belong to the county meeting, they're already going to be there, and we'd have at least 45 minutes to go over what we have in the budget before the Conway meeting starts. Doing it after is not a good idea. It's going to be much too late, unless you want to do it a different night. I'm just trying to, so I'm, I'll accommodate you in any way you want to go. You got yeah, Phil, you got Mary, you got Keith, you. That depends on. Just, just you know, there's. I have a meeting every night that week, and every night, well, not the Friday night, but every night that week, and every night the following week. So you have to probably stack it. Unless you want to be Friday. So what time? Keith, you're on. Are you on? Are you on? As long as somebody brings a beverage, it'll be okay. Are you going in here? <laughs> you're, you're around. Yep. Mary's on vacation, maybe, or she can go into work late. What are we having the morning? Are you are you going? To, you're going away next week. You're going I'm, here, I'm here next week, but we also need time to work. Are you talking about a front meeting? Or yeah, well, budget subcommittee. Or because Keith is on vacation next week. I'm talking about the budget you, do a sub, you want to do a subcommittee meeting. We still have to bring this group together. Yeah, but I'm saying we, we still got to meet as a budget subcommittee first to try to right. hatch so out. So we have to have a full meeting too. So we probably yeah. should start with get the, let's get the, you want to do that Thursday in Conway? Yeah. At 515. Sounds good to me. Five days. Five days. Finally, a home court what's advantage. The, what's that date? <laughs> That's the 28th at 515. I won't be here in Conway. You won't be there that week? That week. You're gone. That goes my godless day. I have another what do you have Where's your meeting for? I can see it now, but it's wrapped. Um, I. Oh no, there's a meeting. Okay. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a meeting. Bob, can the, you get the can you get the Conway? Been here before. <laughs> you go as long as we have a quorum. Right. We're talking about it's the another meeting. Conway because there is at five fifteen. So to, to go over the budget. <clears throat> No, to, to have a full frontier meeting. It'd be a frontier meeting with the sole agenda item as being the budget. Before the budget subcommittees were Well, we're going to no, talk about it. Budget yeah, subcommittees in somewhere between okay. yeah. 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 now and then. But Keith is look, I'm, Keith, I'm wide open. I can be Keith anywhere. is around next week okay. and even the morning. So maybe we can do a sub budget subcommittee later next week. Okay. okay. That's what I'm thinking Thursday or Friday, maybe. So or, then if we hit it the 28th at 515, then we can still have the 5th that Tuesday? at normal to have the public whatever, right? And vote the final budget. So, yes, or is it? I don't want. I don't want. I'm trying don't to. I'm trying to, say, I'm trying to say every, say everything, but not say anything. Exactly. What I'm doing here. So just meeting wise, is that doable or not doable? Well, this scenario. Suppose the budget committee says to him, when we meet somewhere between now and Conway, 
no way. Okay, so should we should we He's change our regular meeting on the sixth to maybe that Thursday? What do you have on the eighth? Well, I don't know. So you can have. We can cancel the sixth. The problem is the budget hearing is posted. It's like uh, we got one in the paper. It's a it's a pub. It's a. But it hasn't been posted yet. So if we change our minds tonight, we can do it. As long as we're, we get it in before that date, and I think the date is something a crazy number like the 11th or uh, we have to bring up that thing, but we haven't posted anything yet. Did we pick the 6th or the 5th or 6th in deference to anybody else, the selectmen or to anybody else? Yep. No, we, we picked, picked it because, go ahead. No, because we wanted to not be after the number, after the date. After the 45 days. So the first town meeting is Sunderland on the 26th. It has to be because it's the closest number what? that's what? to that what? date of the meeting. <laughs> Is it the fifth or the sixth? So we have the seven. fifth currently. So we did it. We decided to do it a week prior because we said we wanted to have some more. Correct. Is so that the fifth or the sixth? The, 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 the meeting currently is on the fifth. Yeah. Why don't we just keep it there? And the budget subcommittee is going to meet before that. Hopefully. But Bobby, the whole problem tonight is the rest of the board's not going to see it the same night as the public hearing, and they either get on or get off the pot. And no, but, no he's, we're still talking about doing the 28th, right? Right. Yeah. Still oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. The 28th right. and Canada is when you, the rest of the committee would see yeah. it besides the budget. But the subcommittee, okay. they can, the subcommittee. I just want to make sure that if we can get the together so it gets the next Thursday, Thursday morning, Thursday, Thursday or Friday morning, which would be good for a morning meeting. Yeah. I, wrote just, so since I won't be on the 28th, but it will be here on the 5th. I'll get a copy of that budget right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it'll be once so the subcommittee is going to meet before the 28th, right? But you don't know when. So you just have to get done and post that, right? Yeah. So then the 28th is us, and we're going to keep the 5th, and that's going to be the public hearing. Okay, and then do we have to vote our final number on that night? Or after, after the public comment. We usually do. Yeah. Final number has to be before the 12th. Yeah, normally we do. Well, no, the 12th, the 12th was only relative to the... Uh, the That's the 45 days. The, the, the 45 is only relative to the debt to the borrower. It has nothing to do with the budget. We, oh, you're using that 45 reference date? No, no, no we're using 45 reference date. We had to submit, <coughs> to submit a budget to the town 45 yeah. days prior to town meeting. To the first town meeting. The budget? Yes. Yeah. And that's why we moved up to the okay. meeting date. I thought we were talking about the 45 days for them to file town meeting for the encouragement of debt. No, we're not even talking about that. But, yeah. So it, it really, it's for the for the budget. regional agreement for the budget. I mean, it, it, I mean, we can see where we are at that point. If we're in problems at that point, I, I mean, I don't, what's the, what's the backup plan? Usually, if we don't have it together, if we work on the budget, we'll the, the subcommittee day. next Thursday, Friday, that's what you're playing next Thursday or Friday morning sometime, right? Well, next Thursday already, you gotta give you guys some time. No, no, next week. Figure it out. We'll be ready for next Thursday. Next Thursday, right? Yep. I've already lined up other meetings that day. Yep. You guys um, but, you know, it's vacation week. Thursday, Thursday are you going to do next week? Day or whenever you vacation week, you do it. Yeah. What depends? What are you, Pick you a time just guess. said you had a bunch of meetings already? I had meetings regarding budgets of towns with. TMS. I know TMS is here next Thursday because I'm meeting with them. Oh, okay. so you're meeting with them? I'm meeting with them. You want to do it at 9 o'clock in the morning? 8? 8 o'clock, Phil? 9 o'clock, yeah, okay. 8 o'clock. Okay. Okay. So. 8 o'clock. He keeps saying 8, he keeps saying 9. I get up like everybody's so. agreeing with both. <laughs> After that, I used to have a bunch of meetings at 6 o'clock in the morning. Said, really? Yes, we did. I'm told you, everybody loved me for that. If Mary has to work, about 3.30. All right, let's get serious, please. What we got? Yep. 8.30? So eight thirty. Thursday the twenty first. Let's get serious. You're right. Here. Or office. My office. Superintendent's office. Your place. Okay. 
So somebody's got to make sure. Well, they yeah. will. Donna will make sure. So you're all meeting the 21st, and we're all meeting in Conway at 5 p.m. Conway. The 28th. Yep. And then we're having a regular meeting on the fifteenth. That's going to be 515. 515, come, you'll get all the, you'll get emails. Yeah, just to make sure I write it down right. That'll give us uh, 45 minutes though. The March 5th meeting is at 6? 6 p.m. Right. 6 p.m. We're back to normal. It's the 5th. The 5th at 6. It's not the 6th. At 5. The 5th at 6. The 5th at 6. Let's get serious here, Bob. I am. The 5th of March at 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Yes, send me a list. Yeah, there's no, there's no. We've, we've had too much chocolate. You brought too much chocolate. We have a lot of teaching today. George, you, are we all set with this now? We have a plan. But we have a plan. We have a budget subcommittee. We have a community yeah. review of the budget. Then we have the public here. We've got it all scheduled. So we're good. We thought that if we could just get the dates and times right. Darius, would you report to the right? now. Darius? Um, we have two other good couple things. Okay. Like that. You got to clarify one meeting. So Tuesday, March 5th, 6 o'clock. That's the Frontier Regional meeting? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's happening in Conway? No. 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 Yes. Wait, it's a Conway. No, no, that's no. happening here. Yeah, at the 5th. The 28th. Oh, yeah, the 28th. Exactly. Which is good. The 5th one is just a regular March meeting here. Yeah, 28th. But it's on the 5th exactly. instead of the 12th. Yeah, so that's what it is. Yeah, it's the first Tuesday instead of the second or whatever day, but it's the yeah. so first Tuesday instead of the second. Right. 515 in Conway. Where in Conway? Um, we're going to school and hang a left. Grammar school, okay. Um, 515. Are we going to meet in the old schoolhouse up there, or are we going to meet? That's been sold. There is no such thing as old school. Is that? It's been sold? <laughs> it's been sold. Anyway, it's way easier than waiting. They, they, they got more than a thousand for theirs. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about the one that's in the yard. I'm talking about the one that's in the yard. No, 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 I see what you know. You know what he's saying? It's a little, I want little the one that they moved from down the road there. Yeah, from Boyden. Yeah. That I went to right. your okay, Bob. Okay, we have uh, so what you stole it, I think. Some new business, mo a modified leave of absence for a faculty member, Darius. Yeah, George, you want to come up to the table and just so I can have you in parts. <coughs> um, so basically, um, we have a, a, a teacher requesting a leave of absence for the second half of the year, and this gets it gets really kind of to break it down very easily. You don't have a hand on it, do you? Not for not for the modifying. Right. So, so that has to be a school approved by school. Okay. So for the second half, of the, for the second half of the year, this teacher happens to pay, teach AP physics. Okay. Right. That's a year long course. To find a substitute to teach AP physics is you have a better chance of finding a rocket on the moon. Okay. So, in the sense of finding someone mid year who can pick up an AP course in physics mid-year is you know that kind of thing so it is also a class that we offer every other year so it really does this is all in the best interest of students um, that this teacher is willing to um, teach the class remotely and so we're asking so we made this more complicated we had a discussion on this since this has been put on the agenda i think we made this more complicated than it has to be Basically, this gentleman is looking for a, Kurt Markle teaches physics, is looking for a um, semester leave of absence. Um, and then we're going to hire him back at one third to teach the second semester of the class remotely with supports in house so that we can keep it in, in uh, here. So, is that like uh, FaceTiming on, on a screen? It's exactly what we're planning to do. Is there going to be like an aid in the room? That's one of that's, that's one of the details that we're still hammering out most person. likely. We're, we're looking at either doing an IA or having another staff. Is that every member. day? So that's going to be every day. That class is it's an everyday class for an entire year. So yeah. So losing him for losing him for an entire once again it would be. It's like finding. But for wherever he wherever he's going to be, he can yep. do it remotely for yep. what is it ninety minutes? Correct me if I'm wrong. Ninety yep. minutes. Approximately ninety minutes. Okay. And he's, and he's agreed to do it. How many kids in the classroom? It should be, it's AP Physics, so it's probably about, I think it's going to be around 15 kids. Does that interfere with any of your other AP classes? I remember when we had the presentation on, on all the AP... Um, uh, the AP night? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's all scheduled accordingly with, you know, every other day on Thursdays. Or, 
You would have to, you would meet when the class the class would meet when it meets. Yeah, it's it's an everyday class. But so it does it but it doesn't impact if the kids are taking other AP classes, it doesn't impact no because that would be because remember you're gonna teach course. the class normally for a semester. Right. Okay. So yes, yeah, so the schedule is already going to have been worked out. <coughs> and I'll tell you, the, other, the second half of it really is, a, is the administration's problem, so to speak, in the sense that they have to make sure right. that um, the teacher's accountable for everything, things going, that it's a smooth, mm -hmm. you know, this is kind of a, we've never done this before, yeah. and really and it's an attempt to not have to cancel the class. And if you are a science major, that the that AP physics class is an important class your senior year if you've been waiting or your junior year if you've been waiting for that every yeah. year class. So if we cancel it, um, it throws the whole rotation out of balance and that kind of thing. Um, the question the amount of oversight was and you were saying in your seat, you know, imagine you'd be saying, well now you're is that gonna cost more for the oversight of that class? Um, and so that's the part we have to work out how that class is covered so it's not that we're giving up a full time position for that two full time positions for that class when we're moving forward. We gotta get creative how we do that. But he's a good teacher. Okay. He's, I mean, and there's no one. There's no one else in the house that could. Okay. Not because it ain't. And I that's a topic, yeah. that, but that was not my question. But I do have one. Um, so what are we doing going forward? Are we setting some kind of precedent for other teachers to be able to call on this? And you just said this was a good teacher. Well, I bet you have all good teachers. Mm -hmm. And you know what's to stop somebody else from doing this kind of thing? Does it set uh, going forward and what, something that we don't want to do? How can that guy ask the question? What happens if we deny the people that we're Then we're going to be looking for an AP, uh, an AP physics teacher for the second semester. Which? I mean, uh, I, most likely as a long term sub. And that would be, the t I mean, we have a hard enough time finding a long term sub to be an IA. So I, see, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know the particular. You do, but I mean, that's the reality. Yeah. I really don't need to know. What I was trying to find out in a systematic way is whether yeah. this person walks away if we don't give him the leave of absence, or if he just stays and does and finishes the term and not do whatever he needs to do in the next six months. You see what I'm, I'm trying to be? I don't want to be nosy to this person's business, but I'm, I'm just trying to ascertain what happens if we say, no, you can't have this person. Are you, stay, are you going to stay or are you going to go? It's possible they lose a half year AP class. Then they, they, you don't lose a half year, you lose the whole thing. But is that, is that what we, are we reasonably sure what happened? He would go each year or it will go? This is a one, as far as I know, this is a one term, this is only happening for one semester. I, I, we haven't talked about whether or not he's going to be going, like that. He hasn't said, if I don't get this, I'm, I'm going to walk. He hasn't said anything like that. This is just something there's, a, there's, there's basically, there's a family, there's a family situation which is basically taking him out of state. So he's asking, and there's going to be- He's made that public. He wrote that in your, it's in your packet, it's a letter to you. you know, so that's part- Right, okay. What he wants you to know is there, yeah, right. his wife, you've yeah. got a, yeah. a, a research thing in Washington, D.C., and he yeah. wants to accompany her and his children for the spring semester. Um, and he would like to continue. Um, he knows that the hardship is causing us with the AP course, you know, and it was part of the packet. Right? Yeah. Right. And so, you know, so, I don't know, we're, we're, I guess, you know, we're trying to, trying to do a lot with the little thing. And, and so the question, we, I think we've certainly made it more complicated as this, you know, really should just been that, and then we hired him back, that kind of thing. You know, uh, we could have done that, and that would have been fine. He did, and he, as he states in his letter, he does not take insurance, so there's not that insurance issue going on with that kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we could strip it down that you just, you're just voting on the, the leave of absence and everything else is, becomes administrative. Uh, it's a problem. They figured out a solution. Right. Yeah. Let's go. It's done. Keith? Um, I think that I know it's very difficult to find the subject, so I think that we should probably go through the motions and see if you can find it. And this would be the backup plan. I would also think that that the flip classroom concept is kind of applicable here. Um, but I think also that if we do go through it, it would be important to get uh, feedback from students about the experience, mm -hmm. about whether it was successful or not, and their thoughts about um, if their expectations in the safety course were actually fulfilled or not, and then we can judge how it worked. And then I think that there should be some kind of, I don't know how we stipulate it, but this is a, like a 
one time. This is not going to be a who's next? Right. Yeah, we could make a non-precedent setting statement. And what's the union think about it? That's my question, Bobby. Has the union oh, signed no. off on this? I'm looking at her. Okay. Because it should be a memorandum of understanding. We don't get so a bit we're talking about spring of 2020. The, the main contract thing is that we have the opportunity to have a leave of absence and to be able to request a leave of absence. And I think that the staff person is willing to help the school in a situation to continue that and stand behind me, the, the unit member, the staff member. It, it makes sense, teaching AP classes that are year long, it makes sense to not have that disruption in the middle of the year for the good of the students and to be able to retain a good faculty member who's only going to be gone for half of the year. So, and that half of the year is the preparation and often the practicing that's getting them ready for the exam. Do this for the AP class. I think that the union is, is going to support this. I don't know if anybody important. else around the table was unclear. This is the spring semester of 2020. Yeah. I had some notion in my head that this was no. right now. No. Right. That's when I was getting a little, <coughs> little nutty. <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought it was right after vacation. I'm not coming back. <laughs> so <laughs> could we uh, make, could we approve this subject to? Uh, there is coming back with a whole game plan as to how this is going to be administered. I don't rather put any of that in the motion. Okay. Grant the leave of absence and, and then let, them let them these two guys figure it out. I agree. Because if we then put you could here, ask us for a report on how it's going, exactly. and certainly we can get leave that it out. Not, not, our, not our problem. <coughs> so, so, what, what is the. Was that a motion? Don't you so. Oh, you just so moved. Second, but not um, So, what is the language, whatever the language is around school choice, where we give the whatever to the superintendent, we give you the right to set the school choice numbers. I would like to make that kind of language around this, because this is, I feel, like adequate well, it's up voting. To George. It's usually this. George's discretion and principles of the school. Well, we can do that too. I don't care, but the language should be so that we're not in this situation, right. or we I'm vote it once a year. We should not be making this. It's, it's, it's what's ever should. best for the school, right. and we you aren't in the business. Business. I don't I don't think 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 that's right. That's where I said I think it got. It got too We could have just came with that, but then. I want to also be transparent in the sense that oh, I guess somebody yeah. on leave and you said, wait a minute, he's also not in your class. I thought we put about, you know, what's going on here. And so I guess. It's almost too much information. Yeah, I get that. Thank you. Anyways, but the yeah. motion's been made. It's been seconded. Well, leave of yeah. absence is our problem. Any it's other questions? Yeah. All in favor? Thank you. Okay. That was not easy to touch. Not really. <laughs> 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 you guys down. I don't have anything for reports. Collaborative, Robert. Uh, we were involved in collective bargaining at uh, the night of the last collaborative meeting, so I didn't make. Okay. And, uh, you didn't get the free food, huh? No. Well, we had pizza, didn't we, Dad? Oh yeah. Because right. I, I remember. Yeah. Pizza, something else. Yeah. George. I got I'll, I'll, I'll make it quick. So I'll pass this out. I'll run through these quickly. Thanks. You live the furthest away. So. <laughs> oh, my chair's gone. I want to sign. Oh, shit. One more. Oh. All right, so just very quickly, uh, once again, the eighth grade trip to Washington, D.C. is happening from the 25th to the 1st. Uh, and uh, all systems go right now. Um, the second one is uh, we, we have a robotics team. This is our first year having a robotics team. Do we have enough? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's called the Final Frontier. So they're obviously big Star Trek fans. Um, and they just uh, they qualified for the semifinals. They they came in fourth place at the end of our first FTC competition. Um, this is the, once again, and they're competing against much larger teams. So this is actually a really, this is a really big deal. Uh, and they've, they competed also recently uh, in ha at Hopkins Academy. And Scott Paul has been, has been busting his tail working with these kids and doing a great job. Um, so that's, that's going on. 
Um, number three, we've, we've piloted a co-teaching model in one of our high school classrooms. Um, I, this is, um, so we, we, we paired one of our special ed teachers with one of our gen ed teachers. Uh, basically, um, we've got 30 students in the class. Uh, we've got a number on IEPs. Uh, this is a way to sort of to facilitate uh, conversation between the teacher to help uh, to help the growth of understanding how special ed works uh, amongst all the kids and to meet the needs of all of our kids. Um, so that's going very well as also, and we're hoping to roll it out to other teachers if they're interested next year as well. Uh, and lastly, I've got. Um, we're actually going to be looking to join uh, eSports. Uh, the MIAA is starting uh, eSports. Uh, they're starting this spring. We're going to be uh, creating a team this spring, and they're going to be practicing to get ready to, to join it. Uh, so it's, fun. it's being recognized by MIAA, which is, which is interesting. So uh, it's a good way to engage kids. What, um, and what's a team? It can be like a group of kids. I mean, they're going to play like you know, League of Legends. They're going to play video games. Um, so uh, is there going to be a teacher involved? With yeah, this? we've got we've got uh, three staff members that are that are involved in this right now. So um, so it's a it's a it's a new thing that's happening, and it's it's kind of interesting, you know. Uh, it's a good way to get kids engaged. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. I've got the important dates down the bottom. Um, yeah, things are going well. Max as well. Do you want me to? Yeah, okay. yeah, and, and we also. And this is very exciting. We have a we have a student um, uh, that made all state band uh, and trumpet. Uh, Max, uh, what's his name again? Phelan. Phelan. Yeah, Phelan. yeah, yeah. Phelan. which is huge. That's a huge thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we're really we're really proud of him. That's a wonderful thing. You know. So this came up, and he has to go to an overnight. Um, yeah, it's, it's not an audition, it's a yeah, it's sort of performance. Yeah, so you made the festival. The festival is there's two nights in Boston at Seaport Hotel. It's part of the Allstate Conference, which happens for all music educators going there. Um, and so then they rehearse for two days and then perform at Symphony Hall. Um, and so it's an overnight trip, basically. And I'll be chaperoning him out there. Because it's an overnight trip, the school committee has voted on those in the past. And since this has fallen in within the concept of before the agenda of this that was then moved again, uh, I'm asking you just to give a vote of approval to allow oh, to go. Second. Third. Fourth. Yeah. <laughs> got that, Judy? Totally. <laughs> All in favor? Thank you. Thank you. What are the dates, Max? February 28th. Uh, George. Can you let her in the... That I don't know yet. Well, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would... Could be a four-year person, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just because they're not all that. Here's what do you have for us, sir? I have, coming off the tails of the principal's report, that I have been in negotiation with Mr. Gerzlanidis for principalship. And today we discussed and signed a contract um, for him to continue on as principal at Frontier Regional. From <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. at least. Um, <laughs> principals are governed by a law for only three years. So he was given a three-year contract today. I'll be doing a press release tomorrow. Um, but that's hot off the press. Um, I wanted to make sure we got him secured as soon as possible nice. because he's got a lot of work to do ahead of him this spring. <laughs> <laughs> George, you're going to put a lot more miles on that truck, you know. <laughs> Unless you get a car. <laughs> I got a car. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> Christmas contracts and his subject each year. Did anybody else want to share anything with us tonight? What time is it? You're not going to use the e word. Judy has a question. Well, we should. You're going to use the e word? We should. Uh, simply because. Hold on. Mr. Cheryl, how do you spell your last name? I don't want to screw it up. Uh, S H E R R I L L. Ooh, she so almost had it. <laughs> I know how to spell Phelan though, so whatever. <laughs> well, we've been working on collective bargaining. You want to That's not enough yet. Okay. It's with you. Not enough. There is not There's not enough. Not enough. Not enough. We probably have the next one. We probably yep. we can give an update on uh, Unit C and the teachers. We're going to do that on the 25th. Yeah, it depends if they bring pizza next time. Yeah. Yeah. Conway is our turn, budget only. Conway is budget only.
Will we adjourn? Second. All in favor? Go home to your sweethearts.